Hi, I'm Alexia Tsotsis. I'm a writer for TechCrunch, and I'm here with Philip Kaplan, co-founder of Blippi. So what is Blippi? Blippi is a social network where people share and discuss the things that they're buying. So I have a tweet from this weekend that I'm looking at, and it is Steve Jobs unveils ping. Looks like Blippi. The demo user is named Philip. <laughs> And then you link to uh, a video of Jobs unveiling Ping. Well, you know what's interesting? Um, when, when you're an internet entrepreneur, the number one question you get asked usually is, uh, you know, what do you do when Google gets into your business? Or what do you do when Facebook starts doing what you're doing? Um, and uh, I guess last week, um, Steve Jobs announced Ping, which is Apple's social network, uh, where people automatically publish the stuff that they're buying from iTunes and talk about it. Um, and which, which, frankly, I didn't expect, and I don't think anybody uh, else expected. Um, and I, well, but the the funny part was I was I was looking, I was watching Steve Jobs' big keynote address, and uh, and he's he's showing how it works, and I'm thinking, oh, this is very interesting. You know, it looks kind of like Lippy. Um, and then as part of the demo, uh, he's like, well, here Philip, you know, says, and he starts talking about Philip. Like as I'm watching the demo, this thing that you know, sort of looked a lot like what we were doing. Um, so anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny, so I tweeted about it. Isn't, it Phil funny. isn't Philip their, well, this, it caught my interest. Isn't Philip their VP of marketing? I've heard, <laughs> yeah, there's a Philip who works there who does some marketing that I didn't know about. But. So, do you think that Ping is actually a threat to Blippi? Um, I think that it's reasonable to assume that if Blippi becomes, oh, sorry, if Ping becomes popular, that people will want that kind of experience of sharing their purchases on iTunes for other stores, for Amazon and Zappos and Groupon. And um, in fact, Blippi right now currently works with, we, we users have shared purchases from over 250,000 different stores, um, iTunes being just one of those stores. So the idea is, you know, if Ping takes off, I would imagine, it, it, I think it's reasonable to assume that those users will, will be looking potentially for, for something like Blippi. Um, and uh, I, I don't think it's too much of a threat. So what do you think of Ping? Are you on there? Um, you know, I'll, first of all, I'm a huge Apple fan, um, as are uh, uh, everybody who works at, at uh, Blippi. Um, I think my initial reaction to, to the quality of Ping um, probably is, is not unique. Uh, I think a lot of people um, probably were expecting more for, from Apple. That said, um, you know, if you look at the first iPod, you know, by today's standards, it's not so great. And, and one thing that, that Apple seems to be really good at is, uh, you know, improving their products. So back to the tweets, you said that it looks like Blippi. So what did Jobs copy exactly, other than the whole like I, friends, <laughs> see what you're buying? I, 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 I am not uh, saying that anybody copied uh, anybody. Um, uh, and, and, I, and, and who knows? I, I don't, you know, I don't work at Apple. I have no idea how long they've been working on the project for potentially have been working on it since before Blippi launched or earlier this year. Um, that said, the, the concept of, of automatically sharing your purchases um, you know, is obviously something that, that, that we started uh, the, when we launched Blippi earlier this year. Um, and then there's a lot of small details um, that, are, that, that are similar and obviously that you know, I think are a great idea. So, so I don't, I don't you know, uh, think it's bad. Um, one of the things that Blippi lets users do um, whenever you, the way that Blippi works is you can connect your iTunes or a credit card or your Zappos account or whatever you want to share um, to Blippi and then we ask you uh, for certain connections we ask you if you want to automatically share everything that you're purchasing um, or if you want to manually approve everything before it goes live on the site. Um, our default in fact is to, to uh, make users manually approve stuff before it shows up on the site. Um, Apple has the same dialogue uh, on ping um, and, and there's, a, there's a few other you know, there's many other similarities, but um, Blippi works with, as I mentioned, 250,000 different stores. Um, Apple is just one of those. Um, we do have over a million iTunes purchases in the system currently. Um, also, uh, Blippi works um, from a, a web browser, uh, as opposed to, to Ping, which is in iTunes only. Well, I think John Gruber actually gave Jobs the advice to extend Ping to uh, more verticals than music, and then also to get it out of the iTunes situation and into the web browser. What does 
Does Blippi have a strategy if this happens? Like, what's Blippi's recourse if Jobs decides well, to? Well, you know, the, the, the big question uh, is, do I think that uh, Ping will start letting people share their Amazon purchases or their, uh, you know, if you go to Quiznos and, and have lunch or if you go to a restaurant or if you buy some clothes or if whatever, do I think that, that Ping is going to get into the, this business? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think Ping, it, it seems reasonable that they'll move into movies and TV and uh, apps, um, but I don't imagine them covering sort of every, every type of purchase which Blippi does cover. So you said earlier that uh, Blippi users have already shared over a million iTunes purchases. Mm -hmm. What percentage of total Blippi purchases is that yeah. statistic? The, the fascinating thing that we discovered um, since, launch, since launching Blippi earlier this year is that, uh, and you know, it, it, see, it, it makes perfect sense in hindsight, but it wasn't really something that we expected. Um, think about how many times you buy uh, if you own an iPhone, how many more times you'll buy something from the App Store versus go to the same restaurant or whatever? So what we're seeing is is roughly forty, probably forty percent of the purchases that are in Blippi, a little less than forty, are iTunes purchases. But it's still just one two hundred and fifty thousandth of all the stores that are there. So for example, if you, uh, you know, this week you might go to three different restaurants and you might buy three different. Uh, you might buy you know, two songs and one app on iTunes. That's going to show up as three iTunes purchases with just one purchase from each of those restaurants. And in a, in a weird way, um, places like, you know, on, on Blippi, uh, some of the more popular merchants are, you know, what you might imagine, Walmart and McDonald's and things like that. In a way, these huge retailers have kind of turned into the long tail uh, in some ways because, you know, you, if you own an iPhone, you'll definitely uh, probably buy more stuff from the iTunes store than you will even, like, go to Walmart or go to you know, go to the same restaurant. Is there, I mean, is there something specific about the iTunes store that like engenders more purchase? Yeah, well, well, A, if you own an iPhone or an iPod, it's the only way to get apps. Uh, and it's probably the most common way, you know, other than, than BitTorrent or something, that you're gonna get music onto your device. Um, and everybody shops at the same Apple store. If you and I both have iPhones, we're both shopping from the same store, but we might go to two different restaurants tonight. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, I think just because it's super easy and it's right, you know, which, which, which begs the question, you know, could iTunes eventually, could Apple eventually move into selling other products? You know, absolutely. Um, and uh, those products too would be shared on Blippi, those purchases. So 40% seems kind of serious. Do you think that this will s slow registrants to Blippi at all? Will people just find all their music purchase sharing needs I covered think, by paying? I uh, think that um, if iTunes is the only place that you shop that potentially, and you and you were interested in sharing your purchases, iTunes, uh, Ping seems like the place to do it. Um, you know, clearly it, it's not the only place that we shop. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm not uh, super worried that people, um, you know, who who maybe share all their stuff on, on, on Blippi are going to, to switch to a place where they can only share iTunes. What we hope might happen is that people who are sharing their, people might not have heard about Blippi and they'll go and share their stuff on Apple um, and then come over to Blippi. You know, one of the interesting things about this whole ping thing is when we came up with the idea for Blippi and launched it earlier this year, um, everybody, and, and many people still do think, uh, a lot of people thought that we were crazy. And, and the, who's going to want to share their purchases? And you know, the, the, the jury is still out on, you know, can it be a really big business, um, but one of the best parts of being involved with Blippi, one of the best parts of trying to build this company, is that sort of reaction. You know, people. Are, there, there's nothing that drives an entrepreneur an entrepreneur more than when somebody says to him or her, "That can't be done. You can't do that. That's not going to work." You know, that th those are the exact things you need to hear. Um, the fact that Apple is now basically in the same business and asking people to do the same thing. Um, it's a sort of double-edged sword, you know. It, it certainly takes away some of our edge, you know. Pe people who, who might have heard Steve Jobs say, "Hey, you know, you should go share all your purchases on, on iTunes," um, might not think Blippi is as crazy. But but you know, it, it, it takes away some of the edge. But I think uh, it also legi legit legitimizes what we're doing, and, and you know, will will introduce uh, 
we'll introduce both of you more people, hopefully. Yeah, you told uh, the blog P Hub that it's a good and bad thing for Blippi because we kind of like being the crazy, the crazy startup. You think that from now on you get, you'll have to wear a suit to the office and there'll be no more, <laughs> no uh, more late no, nights. I, I, I dress, uh, you know, I wear a button down sometimes. It's about as fancy as I get in the Blippi office. So what about this uh, this post that I see about you guys getting bought for a hundred million by Amazon? Uh, that is, uh, it, we we don't comment on rumors, and and in fact that uh, I, I, I think I know what blog post you're talking about because it showed up in a um, in a in a Google News alert, but I, I I actually couldn't get all the way through that through that post. You think we've entered the if if posts like these are showing up in Google alerts? Do you think we've entered the age of social shopping? Are you primarily positioned to take advantage. Gosh, of this? you know, um, I think uh, you know social shopping. That 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 social is a big word. Uh, you know, business wise, you know, one, one could argue that Groupon is a form of social shopping, or Woot is, or even Amazon with all the comments and and, and reviews of different products as social. Um, uh, at Blippi, there there's a there, there's some really exciting stuff that I can't wait to tell you guys about that we're working on. Um, and that, that people seem to really enjoy that I think uh, can do some big things in social shopping. Awesome. Thank you. Keep us posted. Will do. Thank you.